Hey everybody, Jamie Klusacek here and I just want to say that I am so excited that you are joining the Thrive Worship Team. Now, having been on the team for a while and being in worship for many years, um, I wanted to share a couple things that have helped me over the years just really focus my heart on Jesus. The first thing is this, that worship is a lifestyle. Now, standing on stage on Sunday morning or Wednesday night or whenever it is, is amazing and leading people in song and leading people um, as we play our instruments, but really worship starts in our hearts, in the secret places that no one sees, in the time that we spend with the Lord. I believe that worship is knowing God and responding obediently to Him. And so even though this is a form of worship as we're standing here on this stage and as you're prepping for Sunday, Worship really starts in the secret places of your home as you are personally seeking God. And remembering that over the years has really helped me enter into worship because I come in being prepared. The second thing is this, which I just said, that preparation helps my presentation. Now imagine for a second if you're going to the White House, if you had an interview or um a meeting with the President of the United States or someone else that you greatly admire. If you went into that meeting, we'll just say it's the President of the United States, and you didn't know their name, you didn't know what they stood for, you didn't know what bills they were trying to pass, you didn't know anything about them, but you just came in. I mean, how, ugh, that meeting just would not be the best meeting that it could be. But when you come in and you know who you're meeting with and you know what kind of questions to ask and you know um, things about them so that you can have a conversation, man, that, that's gonna be an amazing meeting. So I feel like preparation is twofold. Preparation for me first is knowing God because how can I worship a God that I don't know? And so when we come in here on Sunday mornings, I want to be able to sing the lyrics with conviction because I know the God who I serve. So get to know God on a personal level, man. That is the best form of preparation that you could do. The second thing is preparation and knowing our music. Now, when I come in and I don't know my charts, when I don't have my music memorized, when I don't have the lyrics memorized, a lot of times that is just a weight on me. In fact, the whole time I'm leading a song, I'll be thinking in my brain, God, please help me to remember those lyrics. And when I do have the lyrics memorized, it sort of takes this pressure off of me. And I say, okay, God, you know I've studied, you know I've memorized these lyrics. God, I am laying my life before you. Help me to lead people in worship because I've prepared. So I would, I would encourage you that to prepare in knowing Jesus and then also to prepare by memorizing your chord charts if you're an instrumentalist or by memorizing your lyrics if you are on the vocal team. And so that has just really helped me. I also like to memorize um, how we're running the song. Memorize the mappets that we provide for you on Planning Center. So that helps so much. So worship is a lifestyle. Preparation helps my presentation. And then third, but not least, in the least bit, is this. Worship based on who God is, not on how you feel. And so when I come in on Sunday mornings, I just keep thinking about Psalm 150. It says, worship God according to his greatness. And that means it doesn't really matter how I feel. It doesn't really matter what kind of week I had. When I come in and I get to lead people in worship, I'm standing on that stage. I get to worship God according to his greatness. I get to declare who he is past my feelings, past my situations, and share the truth of who this living God is with a group, a room full of people who desperately need to hear the same thing. We get to bring hope in worship. We get to bring truth in worship. We get to bring, um, through our expression, we get to bring joy in worship. And that would be another thing. As I'm worshiping God according to his greatness, you know, sometimes when I'm at home, um, I can be very somber in my worship and things like that. But when I'm on the stage and I'm leading people in worship, I need to make sure that I am expressing that worship in a way that portrays God's greatness. So whatever that is, whether that's lifting my hands, whether that's clapping, whether sometimes that's kneeling, I just want to make sure that I'm worshiping God according to his greatness. So I hope